Morton. Morton came to us late one evening. It was a little bit the size of a small rat, um, and we can estimate his age to have been about five months old. He was very traumatised. Uh, his weight was 340 grams. Their mothers feed them for up to a year at the size we, we found him. So immediately, it's kept in a little pouch to simulate the mother's pouch as best we could. Once he was old enough and start becoming a little bit adventurous from his pouch, we set up an outside gym for him to explore around. Go on the tree. Go on the tree. Let's see some action from you there. That's your gym. They think you're mom. So there's quite a bond formed and a, a, a lot of trust. You're just having fun, aren't you? Go down and go and play. Go and find a tree. Come on. Here's a tree. Go and jump on this tree. Good boy. Dehumanised in a few weeks. Ow! That was a fail. This is Morton at 5am this morning and somebody was wanting to get out. But luckily he didn't want mommy so much, he wanted to get out and explore. But as he got older and he was ready to be dehumanised, Morton has to start learning to be a koala that's um, quite wary of people. He's not to see me at all, so it's a big, sharp break between the both of us. We were lucky enough to be able to introduce him with another Joey that was almost ready to be released. This allowed Morton to start learning from the other koala how to be a koala because uh, most of his life was spent with me. He was in dehumanising process for two to three months until we felt confident that he wasn't interested in people anymore. To be able to see him thrive and then also be released, being a proper koala, is, is just sheer joy.